It is the Burt Myers Asphalt Modified Race Car Kit from Wes's Model Car Corner. 125th scale, full detailed kit. So how this is working is Wes's Model Car Corner put up the funding for the tooling. Salvino's JR Models is handling the production of the kit. So if it wasn't for Wes's funding, there would be no modified kit is basically what it comes down to. This is one of two variations to get released. The second one was that of the Zach Nolden FNR Motorsports number four. There are four more variations of this tooling to come. The next one will be that of the Boiler Racing Enterprises number three, and then three more drivers to follow that. The production run is very, very small. The first two were 5,000. The next one is going to be 2,500 pieces, and then the next three and the following final three will be 1500 pieces each so if you want to get one your best bet is going to be probably to pre-order it also this is kind of a miss, miss and match of different modifies in my understanding so it's not accurate to one different to one specific modified it's kind of a combination of different ones so it's not 100 percent accurate for any one modified and my modified knowledge is about at a zero so really we're just taking a look at what is in the box and it is today's what's in the box Get started now with the body parts tree. As you can see, it is a multi-piece body. Unfortunately, you can't, you won't be able to take the body off the chassis once it's completed. It's all got to be glued to the chassis. Also, you notice there are two choices for hoods. So here we have the right side panel and some other obvious body panels. I'm not exactly sure where they all go. And the hood, option one. Over on this side. And we have the left side panel, the roof, the tail light panel, and the hood choice two. The next parts tree has the wheels, multi-piece wheels, uh, some other body panels, bracing. Start up here, this is going to be some rear body panels that go on the rear top, basically a top shelf, if you will. In the middle you have the steering wheel, wheels, part of the wheels, gear shift, and here we have the valve covers, side bracing, front bar basically, bumper, a couple of uh, tanks, or oil tank, two piece, and then the air cleaner. Two piece. And moving on to parts tree D, which is going to be the chassis frame pieces. So here we have the left side. And then here we have the right side. This is going to be the inside. There's the uh, outside, I believe. Dash is here, tunnel. Covers the engine, uh, transmission, roll bars. There's a look at the uh, dash. There is some detail on the dash. Taking a look at parts tree A, which is basically going to be the engine parts tree. So we'll start up here on the top corner. We have the transmission, two pieces, hoses, uh, oil pan, intakes, two options. Radiator, two pieces. Down on the other corner there, we have rear bell housing, front accessory plate, water pump there, pulleys, alternator, carburetor, engine block, which is pretty much light on the detail. Here in the center section, we have the inner, the inside of the wheels, the center wheels center part of the wheels. Uh, the brake rotors there, brake calipers here, which are separate. I like to see that. Makes it easier for detail painting. Take a look at them there. And moving down, we have the heads. Uh, two two options for the exhaust headers, battery. Let me look at the head real quick. Parts tree B is up next, and it has the rest of the pieces, uh, uh, suspension suspension pieces, 
and chassis pieces. Up here, in this corner, we have the fuel cell, two pieces, window net, whatever that U curved U shaped piece is for. And we'll have another window net, another look like piping, or I'm not really quite sure. There's another piece is down here. I think this is going to be the transaxle, maybe. That's what it looks like to me. Middle section, we have the front rear suspension pieces, the front subframe, the tie rod there. Looks like it's going to be the rear strut pieces, the front strut spring piece there. Whatever these pieces are in the middle for. And so on this side we have the seat, which is going to be three pieces, the main seat, the headrest, the leg rest, the leg bracing, excuse me, yeah, distributor cap there, upper control arms, some other suspension pieces there, I'm guessing. These have got to be the left and right side for the transaxle over there, the rear axle over there. That's what those got to be for. Now, finally, we're going to take a look at the clear parts of the tree, which is pretty simple, just three pieces. We have the spoiler, rear spoiler there. Uh, window, windshield piece. And whatever that piece there is for. Roundy rounds are up next, and they are just a generic set of asphalt modified tires. We need a little bit of sanding to make them look good, but other than that, there we go, those are the tires. Finally, now we'll take a look at the decal sheet, which is basically pretty simple for this one. These are your tire decals, the wheel decals. Uh, NASCAR Advanced Auto Parts uh, series decals. Kind of tells you what they are. Roof A, roof B, uh, tail light panel, numbers. And finally now we'll take a look at the instruction book. Here we have the decal placement guide. So here we go, engine, for, bubble, for the bubble hood, you use intake, that intake with, for square hood, you use the intake with the hole on it for the distributor cap, easy enough. Ah, so that other piece is for the seat, alrighty, maybe I should have looked at this first, huh? All right, so those other half tubes were part of the transaxle, again, I probably should have looked at this first, I know. So, on that note, that is the Burt Myers Asphalt Modified Race Car Kit from Wes's Model Car Corner. Thank you so much for watching.